paper money might soon come to a place where people are no longer using it. People are using cards and contactless payments because they don't want to have to touch anything. Um, this is due to the obvious pestilence situation we have going on. While cash is still accepted, even older shoppers, his toughest clientele in this guy's restaurant, who's talking in the article I'm reading, um, when it comes to adopting digital habits or voluntarily making the switch, a lot of people are. Um, Cash was already being edged out in many countries as urban consumers paid increasingly with apps and cards for even the smallest purchases. But the virus is accelerating a shift towards cashless, towards a cashless future, um, raising new calculations for merchants and enriching the digital payment industry. Um, I don't know if you've heard, but there's like a change sort shortage going on. I haven't personally experienced it where I'm at in my, my location in Ohio, but um, I've been hearing from many people that it's either exact change or credit card. Um, there's just no change to be had, I guess. Uh, so time to swap your coins for payment cards, safer for containing uh, the virus, says another guy. Cash is certainly not dead. Before the pandemic, bills and coins were used 80% of the time for transactions in Europe, and there are a few signs that the pandemic is about to wipe it out. Yet, for a growing number, number of people, uh, cash is a fading routine. I gotta say, I use my card probably more than I'd like to admit to. However, um, I do keep some cash on hand for an emergency and I think everybody should what happens if the electric goes out what then um how are you going to access your bank account it it's just lost until they come back online if they come back online what if we had an EMP attack um what then so that's my concern personally um so that's it's a long story, that's pretty much it. But then, if you're using your card all the time, merchants are paying more fees uh, to process credit cards. So what happens is, if you've ever been to like Sam's Club or Costco or one of those warehouses, you're only allowed to use certain cards and that's because they cut a deal with these merchant companies for their fees. And if they can't cut a deal, uh, let's say with Discover Card, for a certain price, they won't use them. So um, that's why like particularly at Costco, you can only use your Visa debit card. Or I, I think now they take credit cards or cash, but you can't use a MasterCard there. I don't think, uh, but anyway, that will certainly raise the price of products um, if we continue to use more cards in the future. Um, Visa reported a surge in contactless payments for basic items in Britain after limits were lifted and a 100% increase from a year ago in the United States. I, I totally believe that. Visa said it also worked with governments in Greece, Ireland, Malta, Poland, and Turkey to raise contactless payment limits in those countries. They set the limits and they set the fees. Um, they're making bank, dude. Card companies don't divulge fee earnings of course, uh, but said issuers were probably raking, raking in a handsome profit, without a doubt. Anyway, this story uh, goes into much further uh, in depth, and I'm going to link it at bizarrebus.com.